Here we are in the Coke Arena media room. Bob Lutz calls Paul Sullentrop from the Wichita Eagle. Wichita State gets it done today, 84-58 over Indiana State. And here's what Shaquille Morris did in 21 minutes. 24 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks, a steal, 15 free throws. How'd that happen? We have statistical elves looking for the last time somebody led the Shockers in all those categories. I would guess it was Fred Van Vliet, except for the blocks. But before Fred, I'm not sure. Maybe Ron Baker did it at one point, but that was... What if you have to go all the way back to Gene Wiley, who you referenced on Twitter today? I'm proud of you for that. Blocking shots like Gene Wiley, yeah. Uh, You know, maybe you start with the fact the Shockers were fresh. They played on Tuesday. They got home after a long road trip, so they were, you know, their legs had to be in great shape, and they're playing an Indiana State team that, uh, you know, there's several mysteries in the Valley this season, but I think Indiana State would be one of them. They're just really struggling. Uh, they were picked kind of middle of the pack, I think, sixth in the Valley. Beat Butler. They still own the best win of any Valley team, uh, but, boy, they're really struggling in conference play, and the Shockers really played well in the first 15, 16 minutes of the game, and that was it. Really played well in the first five to eight minutes, built a 24 to four lead. And at that point, the game's over. It's just a matter of what's the final gonna be. I mean, that that was impressive, the way they opened the game. They were blocking shots, they were stealing the basketball, and Austin Reeves had a breakaway thunder dunk that was one of the best moments of the season here in, in what has been a relatively quiet home schedule because the games aren't close. He played really well. Shaq, as we said, played really well. I thought Shaq really ran the court well. He got good position. He was just really active and bouncy. And, uh, you know, these last two games, he had a double-double at Evansville and played very well this afternoon. He's, he's really put together two, two strong games. And you, it's rare to see a Shocker playing more than 20 minutes at this point in, in some of these blowout victories. They do have Southern Illinois coming in Tuesday night. Can that game potentially be a test for Wichita State? Uh, maybe so. You know, I think the Slukies have been, uh, you know, at or, or maybe above expectations a little bit. Uh, you know, but Wichita State's been so good at home. We're basically waiting for February 4th, aren't we? That will Illinois be, State yes. comes in, and, and that game will be a tremendous matchup. Although, I guess the uh, road games at Bradley and Drake are, uh, come on, let's be real. Yeah. They're not going to have any problems with those games either. Wichita State wins 84-58 over Indiana State. Tuesday night, back here at Coke Arena, Southern Illinois visits. We'll see you then.